Van Gogh painted this self-portrait in the winter of 1887-88, when he had been in Paris for almost two years. It is clear from the work that he had studied the technique of the pointillists and applied it in his own, original way. He placed the short stripes of paint in different directions. Where they follow the outline of his head, they form a kind of halo. The painting is also one of Van Gogh's boldest color experiments in Paris. He placed complementary colors alongside one another using long brush strokes, blue and orange in the background, and red and green in the beard and eyes. The colors intensify one another. The red pigment has faded, so the purple strokes are now blue, which means the contrast with the yellow is less powerful. Uh, we met a few days ago. I, I asked you about the church and the verse. Oh, yes. Glad to be of help. You were nice about my tie. Yes. And today is another cracker, if I may say so. But I just wondered, between you and me, in a uh, hundred words, where do you think Van Gogh rates in the history of art? Well, um... Big question, um, but to me, Van Gogh is the finest painter of the world. Certainly the most popular, great painter of all time. The most beloved, his command of color, the most magnificent. He transformed the pain of his tormented life into ecstatic beauty. Pain is easy to portray, but to use your passion and pain to portray the ecstasy and joy and magnificence of our world, no one had ever done it before. Perhaps no one ever will again. To my mind, that strange, wild man who roamed the fields of Provence was not only the world's greatest artist, but also one of the greatest men who ever lived. Vincent, sorry. I'm sorry, is it too much? No. There are tears of joy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Sorry about the beard. Vincent van Gogh, born March 30, 1853, Zundert, Netherlands, died July 29, 1890, Auvers sur Oise, near Paris, France, Dutch painter, generally considered the greatest after Rembrandt van Riem, and one of the greatest of the post-impressionists.